First of all, I want to thank you all because I was reawarded the Excel MVP award through Microsoft. We got word of that today, and it's a real honor because part of that is community contribution, and this is my contribution, and you letting it be known that it makes a difference for you, it helps keep this going, so I appreciate it. Congratulations to the people who were reawarded, and I salute those who weren't reawarded. Thank you for your service, and hopefully you'll be back in the program. Today, I got something crazy to show you. Put my glasses on. I recently worked on a project where we had to identify two consecutive months of underperformance. So here's what we have to do. This data set shows that five is our threshold. And we would like to identify those streaks where there was five or less for two consecutive months. Look at Andrew. Andrew has a couple of fives and a two, but he doesn't have two consecutive months that we want to identify. Unlike Chris, June and July were four and three. We need to know that. Gene, two fours in a row. We need to know that. And here is our grid showing these streaks. Rodney is showing three streaks. Before I get in trouble again, I am going to show you that this is dynamic. Refresh. Now we've got Martin, March, April, and Nancy, July, August. All right, how do we do this? Cursor in the data set, data from table slash range. Table has headers. Of course, we're gonna start by doing an unpivot. Columns already highlighted, right click, unpivot other columns. Next, let's identify our underperformance. Okay, I'm just going to highlight here. All right, add column, add a conditional column. Call that underperformance. If value is less than or equal to 5, then X. Otherwise, null. Okay. Now here's something pretty cool. I'm gonna add two index columns to set us up for something else. All right, add index column starting from zero. Add index column starting from one. Do you see what's about to happen? Right, we don't need value anymore. Remove that column. Now I'm gonna load this as a connection only. Load to, only create connection. Now here's the slick part. We are going to merge a table with itself. Here we go. Data, get data. Combine queries, merge. Table one, table one. We wanna leave it as a left outer join. We wanna grab index point one Match that with index. Okay. Let's expand this table. We don't want to use that. Let's expand this whole table so we can see what we've got. We don't need these index columns anymore. They're just in the way at this point. Highlight that. Push the control button. Right click. Remove. Got it. All right. Now we can see. Andrea's January is lined up with her February. We can go down and see Chris February underperformed. Chris March underperformed. That's what we want. We also have to be careful because of row 28. Look at that. Two underperformances, but one is Chris and the other one is Denise. So we've got to be careful and make sure that that is not in our result. So let's handle this now. All right, we're gonna add a column, add a custom column. 
we're going to call this bad equals if under performance equals x and under performance 1 equals x then capital X else no okay now we've got our two consecutive months let's filter this we want to keep anything that has an X all right now we only want to keep the rows where the name and name one are equal all right add a conditional column if name equals select a column name one then x otherwise null okay so we get rid of the nulls all right now we can get rid of this column this one hold down the control key we don't need this one this one this one and we don't need name one right click remove columns that is what we wanted now let's close and load file close and load to existing worksheet let's put it right here okay we got it we got it now let's make sure that it is still dynamic right we ready to refresh all right data refresh now we've got Chris with a third two-month streak Todd the new guy with a two-month streak but wait a minute before we launch the fire let's do one other thing notice how we have our threshold as a five and it's hard-coded we're gonna take care of that. Under performance, that number, and it's a five. All right. From table slash range, do you know what I'm about to do? You better, if you've been watching the videos, you know I'm about to drill down. Here we go. Okay. Right click, drill down. Call this under P. I'm going to go over here, table one. I want to look at the code. There's our less than or equal to five. And you know what I'm going to call this. You better know under P. Done. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Watch out, watch out. Okay. Close and load. Now, what if our threshold was four enter data refresh look at that that was a lot but we did it we got it and we did that with two index columns and then merging a table with itself and it was so sweet all right see you in the next video